Hey, hey, hey guys. So, get the elephant out the room. Yes, I am filming this the same day that I filmed the unboxing for my Gucci attache. That's why the ensemble is the same. Just took off the glasses. But, today we are going to be doing a swatch for the Hermes. The Hermes Lip Oils. All six of them. However, right now I don't have the purplish one just because I don't know where I put it. Yes, I lost a $55 lip oil. But I still have pictures and an example of what it looks like. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, let's get into it. <laughs> Okay guys, so we are going to be doing lip swatches for all of these beautiful lip oils. Um, like I mentioned before, I do not know where I placed that purple one, but I don't have time to look for it and I refuse to go buy another one because it's around here somewhere and I'm going to uncover it. But I did have um, pictures of what it looks like on me, so I'll just insert those whenever we get to those. We are going to go in chronological order, so hopefully this video isn't too long. It should be on the shorter side because I have nothing else to add. Just want to get to the nitty gritty. So, I have been wearing these lip oils faithfully every day. I keep one in my purse. I change them up. Like, I am in love with these things. So, I'm not even going to keep y'all in suspense about it. I love these lip oils and I'm so glad that I got all six of them and I feel like they are brown girl, black girl friendly. Um, especially, and I say that because there is a big difference with melanated lips. If you do not have melanated lips, then you kind of start with a clean slate or like a pink or rosy undertone. And if you look at my lips, you can see that they are essentially two-tone. This bottom part is a little pinker right here on the middle, and then the outside is a little darker, but my top lip is just as melanated as me with a little bit of um, pink right there in the middle. So that can change the, um, that can cause pigmented lipsticks, lip balms, lip oils, um, lip glosses to look differently. And so, yeah, I just wanted to show everybody what it looks like on us and um, just know that you don't need to add any kind of um, lip liner for this. Um, really quick, let's just go ahead and talk about um, what these look like. Pretty much the same across the board. They have the... Um, I might have to take a picture, but it does have like the Hermes uh, crest, if you will, on the top of it. It does say Hermes Paris on the back and it says Hermesistible. I think that's what the line is called. So on the front of every one of them and they do come in those cute little orange boxes. Um, that I look like this. So I'm not sure if this is one of the boxes that came in or if this is a nail varnish, but this is the box that it comes in. I did an unboxing um, on another video, so I will link that if you didn't see that and that's what led you here. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and get into them. Okay, so... At the bottom of each one of these, it does tell you what number it is. So this one right here says number one, beige sepultile. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But yeah, here we go. My lips don't have anything on them. They're a little, they're a little on the dry side. But what I can say um, is that for each one of these, as soon as you put them on, if you give it about one to two minutes, your lips kind of feel like they're plumping up because they're getting hydrated and it's so nice. I even made my husband um, put some on and ask him how I made it feel. And he was like, my lips feel like they're plumping. I don't like it. <laughs> and they look good on him too. So if you aren't brown or black, don't worry. They look amazing on you too. There are countless videos out here that will show you what it looks like on lighter pigmented or not as pigmented skin because white people have a little bit of melanin too, just not much. Um, so 
But anyway, I tested it on my husband who's white and it worked. Anyway, so also um, each one of these have a smell and a slight taste to them. So, I mean, it's all around. If you want to live out those 90s dreams from whenever you had them, the lip smackers, here we are. Except for it's not lip gloss, it's lip oil, and it's not, it's very, um, it's not sticky, it's not slimy, stuff isn't going to get stuck in them, like, awesome, and it absorbs into your lips. Um... So you might have to reapply. I think I actually had to reapply this whenever I wore it every uh, every couple hours, maybe, if you wanted them to still look um, like just as shiny as it did when you first put them on. Anyway, I'm running, I am bumping my gums, and y'all just want to see me put this stuff on. So here we go. I'm going to get up close and personal, okay? Don't be coming for me and my blemishes and my imperfect skin because I do not wear makeup on the normal basis. So I have no makeup on right now. Um, typically, I don't anyway. Y'all probably know that because look at me. But anyway, here we go. And I have acne because, you know, and flow. Anyway, um, also, just so you know, this applicator is very small. So, for my ladies that have really small lips, or what we might refer to as non-existent lips, this will be perfect for you because, like, you don't have to do as many passes to cover your lips. Um, but you do need to. But the good part for people with lips is that you can really make sure that you're, um, you're having a very targeted application if you will so let's go put that in there look at that see how it only covers this much So you can see in the corners, that's the color. But we're gonna buff that out. Okay. So can you tell the difference between this half that has it and this one that doesn't? Honestly, it's giving lip injections. You know how when people get the, do they put Botox in their lips? Whatever the lip injections are to make their lips plump. And then they have to put the oil over top of it and it'd be like super plump looking and uh, very hydrated looking. But it kind of also look like it hurt. That's what you get with these lip oils. It look like you get that plump. appearance and I like to go on the inside because I can tell the difference of where I put it versus where I didn't put it because it feels so satiny and smooth but here's my lips so these are my lips with the number one and this is what it looks like from a distance I love it. Moving on to number two, which is the Coralie Brigade. I don't know, but this is more of a like pinky peach color. Start. So what I like to do to get it done in two passes is I'll apply the flat part right here on the inner part and then I kind of roll it. So I get all of the product off of each side of it. So I'm just not doing it from the, the tip of the applicator. I'm doing, I'm taking it from everywhere, honey. And then I do it like they do it on the Discovery Channel. I'm just kidding so inappropriate excuse me anyway 
And I like to get in the cubics bowl. It's so satiny. It's like you can feel it hydrating. Like you feel like your lips filling up. So number two. All right, and number three, which is Rose Pattaya. I love this one. This one is more of a pink color, like a, a true pink. So start. <sighs> Y'all, this smells like a rose. Yes, this smells like a rose. So, this one is a pink, is more of a pink color. And you can see the difference on my lips. At least I think so. Like, the lighter one and two give me more of like a, a, um, a nudie feel, you know. Um, this one, I feel like kind of stands out a little bit more. So, if I, imagine me with a full face in this one. So this is up close. This is back. Because and I'm doing away because it looks very different whenever you're up close and personal with it and then whenever you're looking at it from a distance. So you can see that it does give my lips this like pink vibe, but it's nothing overpowering. And it's not like lip gloss where it's like Super bam in your face. I just think it looks really pretty. Number four is Ro Ro Rouge Amarie. Amarie. This is more of a reddish pink. Pop, 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 pop. <coughs> Ooh, what's that smell? Mmm, this smells like cherry. This is what it looks like. Resting lips. And from a distance. So you can definitely see that these are definitely a little bit more whew, on the red side. But nothing too crazy. Okay, and this one is number five, Rose Cola. This was the one I was really excited about. Like, when I saw it, I was like, I just feel like this is going to look so good on my lips. So, number five, Rose Cola. But this is Rose Cola. Now, this one, for me, as a dark-skinned woman, this one is more of a, like, neutral. Like, it looks like I just put, like, just clear lip oil on my lips almost because it's more of a nude. So, I love this one. So, this is it from a distance. Okay, and like I told you guys, number five, I'm going to have to insert a picture of what it looks like on. But again, even though it's a darker purple color, don't be um, alarmed. It does not look crazy. Um, it's not like super bright in your face. It's just a little bit more uh, tinted. But that one on me also kind of looks like a nude, just with a little bit more pigment. So, um, I will insert a picture of it off to the side. And, yeah. So, that is it, guys. That is my swatch and my review for all six of the Irresistible Lip Oils. I absolutely love them. I feel like they make it look like you, with the lips that you have, it plumps them up, it gets them hydrated, and it makes them look like you just had something done to your lips. Or, you know, like whenever you do a really good lip scrub and um, and you hydrate them and they just look like they're plumped up and they look so nice. I feel like that's what these lip oils do. And I've tried the Dior uh, lip pump thing. I actually have it, but I 
I didn't care for that one. Um, I also kind of felt like it drew, dried my lips out. But these, I feel like they get them hydrated and they put them where they need to be, especially coming into, <clears throat> excuse me, especially coming into the fall winter time frame. I think that having one of these in your purse is crucial, um, be it melanated or not. You should go and grab these. Hands down, uh, for me, it's Cola Rose. Rose. Rose Cola. So, number five for me, which is what I have on right now. That's where it's at. So, um, yeah. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video, if you're going to grab some, or if you think they are too overpriced. Um, don't lose them. They are 55 bucks, but I, I think it's 55 bucks worth it. And you get something from Hermes if that's what you always wanted something from Hermes. I think this would be one of those things that's definitely not a waste of your money. Some people just buy things just to buy them. I think these are more than worth it. And you won't regret it. And you can also get these if you don't have a store near you. You can order them online. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to share my video with your mama and them. Until next time, guys. Deuces, 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 deuces. deuces. Mwah. Thank mm -hmm. you.